subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for RS Archer Certified Associate. So let's get started. Question number 1, what is the purpose of DDE tools? Your answer is, the Archer Scripts Data Driven Events Analysis Tool an utility-given interactive view of data-driven events rules along with actions for all application layouts. Additionally, it enables the RS Archer admin users to review all rules and the associated actions, providing a quick summary and detailed view. The tool also offers a search and filtering feature allowing RS Archer admins to troubleshoot DDE issues easily. Question number 2, what are the benefits of DDE tools? Your answer is, the DDE tools have the following benefits. 1. Decrease the application and questionnaire DDE logic learning curve for developers and administrators. 2. Allows quick troubleshooting for DDE issues and defects. Question number 3, what does Archer provide? Your answer is, Archer offers integrated risk management solutions in seven areas which include audit management, third-party governance, IT and security risk management, business resiliency, enterprise and operational risk management, regulatory and corporate compliance management, and public sector solutions. Question number 4, what are the required columns in the CSV file? Your answer is, the columns required in the CSV file are, 1. Username. 2. Password. Question number 5, what do you mean by the term reporting? Your answer is, Reporting is the set of data that is collected as a result of monitoring the network traffic, used for further analysis. To discover network activity, we may run a report on the NetWitness Platform database main services in NetWitness Platform. Question number 6, explain the role of reporting engine? Your answer is, reporting engine provides data for alerts, reports, and charts. Therefore, one must configure the reporting engine as a service to the NetWitness platform before generating the reports. Moreover, one should specify the data source in the reporting engine through which the data is extracted. Question number 7, define a report. Your answer is, a report is a set of rules along with other formatting objects like headers and HTML formatted notes that describe and identify the data about a specific area of interest. Moreover, the reports are defined and managed on the build report page, and can also be scheduled to run on a timely basis. Question number 8, what is RSO Authentication Manager? Your answer is, RSO Authentication Manager is basically an on-premise multi-factor authentication solution helpful for providing secure access to the network and web accessible applications, like SSL VPNs and web portals. Alongside, RSA Secure ID protects access with the use of two-factor authentication with hardware and software-based tokens. Question number 9, what does the MF agent do? Your answer is, RSA MF agent for Microsoft Windows is meant to leverage the RSA Secure ID Access Cloud Authentication Service, and RSA Authentication Manager to provide strong multi-factor authentication to the user signing into Windows, either online and online. Moreover, the MFA agent offers multiple authentication options for users, and features that enhance user productivity and security during Windows sign-in. Question number 10, define load balancing. Your answer is, load balancing is defined as the efficient and methodical distribution of network or application traffic across several servers in a server farm. Hence, it ensures that no single server bears too much demand. Question number 11, what is the GRC strategy? Your answer is, GRC stands for Governance, Risk, and Compliance. This is basically an organizational strategy for managing risk management, governance, and compliance with industry and government regulations. It can be also referred to as an integrated set of software capabilities for the implementation and management of an enterprise GRC program. Question number 12, what are Archer findings? Your answer is, Archer findings are a useful feature of Archer. This is the process of automatically generating findings from compliance or risk assessment questionnaires, whenever questions are answered incorrectly, which might show that an expected control is out of place. Question number 13, what do you mean by Archer issues? 
Your answer is. Archer Issues Management is the basis for an integrated risk management program, allowing people to manage issues created by multiple groups, like audit, risk, and compliance. With the help of Archer Issues Management, we can generate a coordinated and consolidated view of known issues. Question number 14. Explain Archer Risk Management. Your answer is. Well, Archer Operational Risk Management allows the standardization of the risk management processes across an enterprise. We can create a common risk language, approach, measurement, and rating scales and explicitly articulate responsibility for business activities, controls, risks, policies, and procedures. Question number 15. What is a landing page? Your answer is. Well, a landing page is the first page that is visible to an agent, while opening agent workspace shows which issues the agent can work on. For instance, the agent can look at the landing page so as to see the number of open issues, and the work assigned to the agent. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.